Hi, I'm Noelle Anderson, a board certified music therapist, and today I want to give you a little insight into how a music therapist thinks. Music therapists always work on functional goals, so we're going to be working on communication, sign language, emotional expression, and social emotional reciprocity, self regulation, following directions, and impulse control. Oh, and also social rules. I need help. Nice. Good. Great job. Oh, oh, push. So it's not open all the way. Push a little more. Push, 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 push. <gasps> nice job. So as I start playing the improvisation, I use music to help ground her. So I play um, in a rhythm that matches her and has a very consistent beat. impulse control that she's using to not play the piano and also the emotional regulation that she's developed over the time that we've worked together. her vocalizations here. This is really a way that she communicates um, through her singing and through her piano playing as she's nonverbal. Hey. I echo some of her singing and that is to show empathy and show that I'm listening. Now again as she's playing I'm following her um, different her melodies and her rhythms and really use this as an opportunity for um, practicing social rules. So, you know, a little bit of turn taking, listening, um, but also um, being able to show empathy, being able to show that I'm listening to her, um, which for somebody who's nonverbal, um, they don't get that experience very often. So it can be really powerful. see her um, social emotional reciprocity which is just responding to um, my silliness and interacting which is typically uh, difficult for people with autism you know, she's getting a little excited um, but she's still maintaining regulation emotionally and sensory wise and she gives me some great eye contact there which she rarely gives eye contact see we're matching rhythms again and it's a huge bright bright smile bright affect <laughs> Here I make a joke again, um, and she responds appropriately again with that emotional reciprocity. But she's still maintaining her regulation. She's got that steady rhythm that's helping her stay in sync, helping her stay regulated. give her a prompt, get ready to stop. She stops, even though she was stimming. She's listening, she's following one step directions. She's um, using impulse control. I'm proud of you. Oh, I got a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the and then hug. <laughs> she responds appropriately to my encouragement with a hug. I hope that gives you a little insight into how music therapists think and the things that we look for and listen for in our sessions. If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to post them below in this blog or on the Facebook post. I hope you have a great day.